give us your general thoughts on the upcoming season. Well, it's it's the 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 conference is getting better. You know, we have a bunch of good football coaches, which we discussed earlier this morning, and and the players are getting better. The play in this conference is getting much better. So as a, as a team, we've got to step up to the point where we've got to be able to play with those teams in this conference. And uh, week in and week out, you can't uh, if you don't play your A game, you're going to have a, a tough a tough time. And um, we're getting to that point. It's just we're we're still very very young. Senior running back Ryan White has been a key member to your team and led the OVC in rushing as a sophomore. Tell us about his style of running and what you expect from him. This year. Uh, he's he's an exceptional. First of all, he's an exceptional person, and that, that's that's the most important thing. But he does a great job of running with his eyes. Um, He's not a, just a big hulking guy. He's probably about 5'8", and weighs about 190, 195, and he's not going to blow you away with his speed. But he, he, he does whatever, whatever back that you want does. He takes care of the football, and he, he knows what's going on in front of him. And I think that's what makes him a good player. And he's, he's a good every-down guy. I mean, he can do all the things we ask him to. He can block, he can run, and he can catch passes out of the backfield. So I think that's why he's so important to our offense. What do you like most about your team this year? Uh, I think... Um, Probably the way they're they're working together. We've had some guys stay here this summer, but I thought I had more fun this spring than I ever had before coaching a bunch of guys. And uh, the biggest reason is because of competition. We, we've got more players, more depth. Um, they worked hard in the off season. They worked hard in school, and and it, it's fun to be around them. And it's not to say that we're going to make mistakes or we're going to do something wrong, but it, I think as a as a group, they're trying to do the things right, both on and off the field. What is the biggest challenge for your team this year? We have to overcome what happened last year. I mean, we were we were two and nine last year, but at one point we were two and two going to uh, Wisconsin, and that that's not uh, that's not their fault. That was my fault. The way that we approached the game, the way I approached the game mentally with them, and um, hopefully after that I've learned that uh, every game you got to go, you don't know what's going to happen. You, you got a chance to win if you play well. Um, that's not that's not to say that we, we might be overmatched some, but if we go in there and play as good as we can, then we got to let that be determined by what happens on the field and not when we go in, you know, determine the outcome before we ever get there. What are your general impressions of the OVC race this year? I think it's up for grabs. I think, you know, uh, first of all, I think uh, projections at the beginning of the year, I think that's all paper. I say because you've got to play the game and you don't know what's going to happen. You know, one crucial injury uh, to a, a football team can mean the difference in a season, you know, whether you're a championship team or you're you're at the bottom of the, of the, of the league. So I think that's very important. But uh, top to bottom, I think this is the most competitive this league's been since I've been in here. So I think... Anybody's got a chance to win. There's no doubt that the top three or four teams that were picked are the ones we're chasing, and, uh, and we got to play good football and have uh, uh, a lot of luck and uh, at the end of the season to to be there at the end. Your team tied for the Sergeant York Trophy in 2007, but has yet to win the title outright and actually take home the trophy. Tell us about the competition for that trophy and how important it is to win. <laughs> well, it's, it's very very important to us. Um, because of where we're located. In Clarksville, Tennessee, Fort Campbell, Kentucky is nine miles. Um, the, the, the things that happened over the last 15, 20 years with us uh, in the military, uh, it, it's just a big part of our family. And we have several guys that have some type of military tie um, to Fort Campbell. So um, we go into each one of those games thinking that we're trying to get that trophy back. And uh, I've said all along, if we ever win that trophy, the first place that we're going to display it is at Fort Campbell. Tell us a little about your schedule and how it plays out for your team this year. We open up at Cincinnati, and it, you know they they were four and eight last year, but the year before they were in the Orange Bowl, and uh, uh, we've watched film on them for for now about five six months. They're a good football team. We've got to go up there and play uh, with the same. We got to match their intensity because if we don't, then it, it'll be a bad day for us. We're open, and then we go to the University of Memphis, and it's going to be the same thing. And uh, the first two games are very important, I think, for our for our football team, both mentally and physically. Um, and the reason I say that is we've got to go to those games and play hard, but we've got to come out of those games pretty much injury-free because the first conference games at home against Eastern Kentucky, who's, um, you know, at the end of the year we played them. They were greatly improved over the course of the year, and um, we've got them on our home turf, so we've got to play a good football game right after Memphis.